What's up everybody? I am Mystery Mr. R. Hopefully it's not too echoey in here. I just moved into this house like last month. So it might be a little echoey, but please bear with me. I put over a thousand hours in the Warframe. I have like an on and off relationship with this game. Two or three years we've been waiting on the new war. And honestly, it is amazing. The update itself is amazing. I loved it. I love the story. I love the cinematics. Also, there's gonna be a lot of spoilers. If you haven't played the new war, there are gonna be spoilers. So I'm gonna praise the game. Before I rip into it and talk about what could have been, should have been, what I would have liked, let's talk about the things I liked. I love how it starts off, it's a war. It's between you, the Warframes, the Grenier. You have the Corpus also on your side and you're all working together to take down this threat. And it's a war, like this is the final battle. If you guys do not get this done, if you guys don't rescue the Lotus, like all is lost. And in the end, you do lose, everything is gone. And then it's fast forwards in time. And they're having this whole story because uh, Ballas is now the ruler of the entire universe. You see all the planets are getting taken one by one and everybody now is enslaved and they have this like little mask on. I love the feeling of everything is lost and now you have to try and get back your Warframe, get back your powers. And it's awesome. Like literally the whole time, I'm hoping, I'm literally hoping we get some multiplayer. I'm hoping this is Warframe 2, everything's lost and you're trying to get it back and you and the community are gonna get it back. But unfortunately, it's literally just the story. You get your powers, you meet the stalker, you talk to Hun Hao and you're getting everything back together. And literally in the end, it's literally a happy ending. The ending is fine. You know, I have no issues with the ending. My issue is everything between the start of the war to the ending, it's like there was no risk. We waited years for this update and it's called the new war, you know, have us talk to Alec V and try and actually form a type of mutual peace. Like, hey, we all have our own differences, but if we don't come together for this new war, the sentience will come and everyone will be enslaved. There will be no money for the corpus. The queens will be slaughtered. So no more queens for the Grenier. And basically the whole world is, in ruin, so that's not good for anybody that's working on the strata relay or any other relay. The new loca, cephalons, everybody needs to come together to actually stop this threat. And for the buildup, that's what they could have had story-wise. You could have been building up the Grenier storyline, the, the Corpus storyline, having these peace talks, actually have your choices matter, whatever you say. It's like a total missed opportunity in my opinion. Another thing that I really wish that they went with, you get one specific mission on a planet, but you can see these little huts. Of course, I was thinking if the multiplayer aspect does come in, oh, we're just gonna clear the star chart all over again. But when I think about it, that's not that bad of an idea. Instead of the star chart being multiple different missions like the defense, the rescue, the sabotage, the first two is literally taking outposts instead of it just being your drifter that takes back the universe have it so a couple in the story have it so a couple warframes show up a couple drifters show up because a couple warframes do show up in the new war whenever Grenier guy when he takes the corinth prime he takes it from a rhino have it so rhino was an npc or something and then all the other warframes were also npcs so the npcs can represent other players so whenever the multiplayer aspect does come in, it makes more sense that there's multiple drifters because there was multiple operators operating these warframes. Bam, just like that. And then you can integrate multiplayer into the new war story, trying to take back everything. The missions, you can literally have the first mission of each planet be take out the outpost. Once the base is taken, you can literally say, okay, now everybody in this area has been rescued. You know, you take off the mask. Now you have the Corpus or the Grenier holding down that base. And then whenever you go on to the next mission, which it could be another outpost mission, that's fine. When you get into this outpost mission, you got Corpus landing with you. You have Grenier landing with you and they're going in to take back this outpost all together. Everybody is trying to take back and win this war. Literally like Rebels in Star Wars. This was the perfect time for you guys to refresh everything because I actually enjoyed being the drifter, whenever you got the boat from the stalker, it was more challenging 
you did have to use your abilities and tactics to try and figure out what to do it's not just straight go in killing everything with my great sword with temple royale and i got prime mods on it and i'm basically a god like it was a good reset and you guys could have built that reset into the multiplayer so it gave people a reason to actually stay with warframe now that i'm done with the new war there's no reason for me to play Warframe again. It was a one and done. You guys could have did more with the Drifters, having them actually try and save the universe. Instead, you had one big story and now the world is saved. And now what? What do we do now? You know, maybe everybody would have hated it and be like, oh, they just made us restart, blah, blah, blah. But that's where you had the option to turn it on and turn it off. Like when you go to your pod and you can pick be a drifter or be an operator, when you click operator, everything goes back to normal and you're playing normal Warframe. And then when you click on drifter, that's where everything's messed up and you guys have to work together and try and save the universe. You guys could have did that. Warframe the New War, honestly, it was not bad. It's just a big missed opportunity and it was so close to being perfect or being close to what I would like think would be perfect. But that's just my opinion. If I was to rate Warframe the new war, I'd honestly give it a three out of five. The story itself, I thought was interesting and good. I don't know if there's plot holes, there probably is. When it comes down to any game that introduces multiverse theory, which you guys, did, I think, decided to do, when you have a little chit chat with yourself, they said it wasn't time travel. So if it's not time travel, then it's multiverse theory. And multiverse theory is a bitch. There's a lot of stuff you guys could have done and could still do just because the operator's world is saved does not mean the drifter's world is saved it's still multiverse theory but that is it that is my opinion on warframe the new war comment rate subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace out